Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the TP-Link brand. You can see right there, the brand. This is the model AC1750. This is the smart Wi-Fi router. Now this company is the number one Wi-Fi company in the United States. Almost half of all Wi-Fi is in people's homes and businesses are from this company. Now this is a dual band gigabit wireless internet router. It'll work with Alexa and be compatible with most Wi-Fi devices, if not all. And it's downward compatible with um, the older uh, standard, the 802.11N. So this is 802 semicolon 11AC. And what that is, is a supercharged version of the 802.11N. So it's much faster, about 12 times faster overall in speed. It can range from 433 megabits per second up to gigabits per second. Now the Wi-Fi itself will be 450 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band. On the higher band, the 5 gigahertz, it'll be 1300 megabits per second or 1.3 gigabits per second. So the higher frequencies um, are used in this as well as the standard 2.0. Um, the regular 2.4 gigahertz is also used in this. It has three nice antennas that could all be adjusted. The angle, you can separate them out just like that. That's going to give you a really good range and even Wi-Fi throughout your house. And it comes with a two-year warranty and 24-hour tech support. These uh, three antennas should get you 2,500 square feet of Wi-Fi range. And you can connect up to 50 devices through the Wi-Fi. Uh, we're gonna show you the back of the unit here in a second. It has an integrated USB port that you could uh, share your content on the Wi-Fi network. It also comes with its own power supply, switching supply, and a short uh, RJ45 internet cable. Now the front has status indicators on there. We're gonna see that when we power it up. And looking at the back of the device, uh, it has the four ports connect to your home, uh, your different floors where you want internet access. Then it has the input connection from your uh, from your modem, from your provider like Comcast, whatever your provider is. There's that USB port. Here's the power switch on and off. Here's where you put the power in. That's a reset you got to use a small little pin on. And then there's a button over here that we're going to have to learn what that is. It says WPS slash Wi-Fi. It's a little clicky button right there. So we're going to test this out and see how it performs in my home. Now in terms of uh, the information to get this set up, there is a little card here that has the SSID and information and the password. And then you're going to put your own Wi-Fi password in your old login account. You want to log in to change the settings on this, the security settings. Then it has a quick installation guide that we're going to follow. Okay, I'm going to show the steps that I'm going to take in to install the uh, AC1750. There is an instruction sheet that shows the steps involved. So I'm going to show that here. This first thing I did is I connected the power right there and I plugged it into my wall outlet you don't want to turn on the router at this point but the first thing you want to do is take your modem connection this is the connection that comes from my modem and we're going to put that into the device where it's got the blue connector right there that's where the modem goes just like that then you see you got your ports right there. So it's taking the one here and turning it into four. And I have my various RJ45s to a home theater. Put that first. And the other ones that are connected to other parts in the house where we have our internet. So you can see I'm using all four of them. Now I have the modem and I got all the four ports. Now I have a shelf right here. So the next step, now that the router is 
connected to all the four data ports and the modem is they want you to turn your modem off and the easiest way is to go to the power and just unplug it. So now I powered the modem back up and I'm going to wait a couple of minutes for the status display in there to stabilize and we're going to make sure that we get the right sequence on that before they do the next step. Okay the modem stabilized and I have a solid blue on there. Now we're going to turn on the AC1750 in the back. There's a power switch. I turn that power switch on and there's a series of LEDs that have to come on. Okay, it's hard to see they didn't put bright LEDs but I believe all the LEDs are on. The first four in particular they turn the green. So now we're going to go to one of our PCs that's connected to one of those four ports and configure it using the, the web address method I guess. This company also offers another way to configure this using an app for your iPhone or your Android device. The directions are also available online just do a search and it shows you all the steps also that you can take. So I'm going to type in in the web browser HTTP semicolon right slash right slash 192.168.0.1 because that's what they say to do. That's the first step I'm going to take. So I went to that address and now I'm connected to the router. It says create an administrator password to manage your Archer A7. So I'm going to put a password and confirm it and then go to let's get started. Now it's asking me a series of questions. I'm going to answer. So I'm going to pick central time. Next. After you make an administrator password to access your web-based router configuration screens, you're going to want to uh, first choose how you want the router to behave. Now in most circumstances, I would say 99% of home users are going to be in uh, either the first two settings, most likely the first one. It has a handy auto detect feature if you're not sure, but normally if your internet service provider is Xfinity, Comcast as we use, unless you're paying for it, you're not getting a static IP, so you want to use a dynamic IP. Um, there's more advanced settings here as well as here, um, but you most likely will not need that, so click dynamic IP or auto detect and then click next. So the next screen has to do with um, MAC addresses. It says if your ISP only allows internet access to a specific MAC address, you need to clone the MAC address of the primary computer. This is again not very likely. The default setting is do not clone MAC address. These are the default wireless, uh, it's called SSID. It basically means the, the name of the wireless network. Because this is a router that has dual technology for the uh, more long-lived 2.4 gigahertz wireless technology as well as the more uh, contemporary 5 gigahertz one, it defaults to broadcast them both. If you only want to broadcast one or the other, you can simply uncheck one of the boxes. We're going to broadcast them both and we are going to Give name, name them accordingly uh, and then create, this is just the default uh, password. So. Uh, if you want, you could make the password the same, uh, but the most important thing is that it is a non-simple password. Um, in fact, I would recommend making it even a more secure password than your admin password because this is going to be, uh, if somebody were to crack that, they could uh, decrypt you know, the, the data that you're sending. So, so what we did as described on the previous screen is we made our network name, we made a uh, pre-shared key password, and then on the right side you can also uh, tell it if you want to hide the network. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. Uh, it does make it, it, it makes it easier to find um, so you don't have to memorize what it's called, but it is one additional security measure if you want to do so. So now that was the last step. You hit save. It tells you it's saving the configuration and then you're presented with this screen where it says congratulations, setup is completed. So now you will re-log in to change more advanced settings if you so choose. So we have the Wi-Fi connection working in the house, got a good signal, and we have our computers working on the internet perfectly. 
So overall, I like this product. Yeah, I think it's, you're going to like it also. I'm going to give it a full five-star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.